Hey guys, it's Casey and I'm back with another app review. Right now I will be reviewing colors as seen right there. Um, I really enjoy playing this app, or drawing on this app I should say, because it's a, a drawing app. Um, it's simple, but it's complex um, in its own way. So right here, this is your color palette. Down here you have different um, styles of, or different ways to paint. This one, as you can see, fades off at the um, when you get up to the, or when you go down. And then if you touch it, then it's just a solid line. This one you can tilt, and then it'll change the thickness. And then this one is um, tilt, and it changes the way it fades. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on solid. And then over here on the right, it has... Um, dif different brushes. This one's a, a soft brush and then this one's kind of like a, a streaky kind of brush. And then as you can see up here, here's all the different colors. On the outside you move around to what color you want. You can see it down here at the bottom or up here at the top. and um, Or also in the middle, that'll change. But let's just go ahead and put it on um, purple. And then you take the center and you can move that around as well and get the different colors. So you have black and or white and black and then a bright purple and different shades in between. And then here's the opacity. It uh, changes how um, light the paint will apply with how much water. And then this is just the size over here. And I'll go ahead and just show you. Um, it's very responsive. I enjoy the brush that I'm using because it kind of, I don't know, it, it just looks nice. And so if you're trying to like fade the colors, you would look down here in the bottom and you'd see the color that you were using and then the color now. So then it would just kind of um, fit better. But I'll just go ahead and use like a brighter color. And I mean, I don't know, it's a very responsive app. You can get um, many different levels of painting and such. Um, right here is a eyedropper tool. It'll pick up whatever color was there. So I'll just pick up this purple, or like uh, this purple here. And you can see that. And then right here it has a playback. You can actually watch your painting, which I find very interesting and neat. Because normally when you see some um, like a painting or something, you never get to watch how the painter actually made it. So I, I enjoy that. And then right here is the undo and redo button as well. Here are the settings. You have new and then um, just the settings. You can um, adjust the offset so you can see while you're painting. Stuff like that. And then this will just adjust your tilt um, level. Uh, right here you have load and save. Uh, you can load your different paintings that you made and s so you can work on them and then save it as well. Uh, help and extras and then this will flip your painting this way and then y you, c you can see here it's flipped it that way. And then when it says flip X it'll flip the X part and then flip Y will make it go upside down. So you can see that. And then uh, I could touch it and you can just share it with an email and then up here is the gallery you have to be connected to the internet in order to use this um, but it'll show you all these different paintings as well as it'll scroll through some of these which I like and I like in the background the picture we'll just click on this one um, it looks very nice and then you can just go ahead and p press playback we won't watch the whole thing, but um, you can just watch them create how they did it, and then you can go off of it. I mean, you don't want to like steal their painting, but you could just see kind of like how they got what they did, and uh, it, it helps you. I mean, I feel like I've improved in um, my painting skills just watching other people, but you can watch the whole thing. Um, and used to, if you touch the screen, it would stop, and I did not like that at all. So now, if you just press back, it'll stop the playback, which I like a lot better. 
You also have different options, the artist gallery, so you can just click on that and then it'll view all of the different things that they've made. And then comments on it. You can add a comment. You can actually save this if you really like it. Um, you could save it to your own files. Playback and then you can like it. So I'll just go ahead and like it. It says it was logging in, liking, and now you add another star. And the more stars you have or the more people like it. Um, and so then you have the latest paintings. It'll just show you all of the recent ones. So you can look through all of those, which is nice. I check it a lot just because I enjoy looking at the new paintings. And then the best this week, um, again, that uh, requires around the stars, how many they have. I watched this in last night. It was actually really interesting. But you can just go ahead and look through all of those. And then... What I like is the top paintings because the amount of detail that people have put into these are incredible. Um, I'm, this is also available on the DS, so some people will or paint on there, which I like because there's a stylus. But these look like pictures. You can see all these different stars. That's how many people have liked it. But from the movie Avatar, um, it looks like a like a picture just from the movie. And then this picture I really like because the tears look real, like this man looks actually real. So I really applaud artists that can uh, portray such um, uh, like great art. And then, um, and once again, these will just be the top ones. So um, these are the ones that a lot of people like. And this I have is a paid version. There's also a free one. Um, but on the free one, you do not have the option of uploading or having my paintings on here. Um, so all you could do is look at other people's. You can't upload your own. When I bought this, it was only 99 cents. I'm not sure about the price right now, but you can go ahead and check it out on the App Store. But you can upload and then just press my paintings to view all of the ones you've made. And then also over here on the right, it has all the ones that you've liked. Um, so there's a lot in there because I'll star them just to help people out, you know, just get a star. And so, um, I really enjoy this app. I suggest buying it. Um, if it's only 99 cents still, that's a very good price. Um, but, I mean, I've spent hours on this, so if you're an artist, it's something worth looking into. Yeah, it's not like the most advanced app, but... I like how simple it is because it still gives you the capability um, for someone that doesn't want to have to deal with all of the extra like layers and stuff like that. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, this app was called Colors and it looks just like that. Thanks. Bye.